So my job is to tell you about how we fix the PCL avulsions. As all of you know that because of the road traffic accident, somehow more common in uh, India and China, the avulsion fractures of PCL also are increasing. I don't think so. I have to go in detail about this type of avulsions. So this uh, fixation, what I'm uh, showing the video, can be applicable to uh, two and three or even sometimes one also if you want to avoid non-union and other things. So there are variable deciding surgical uh, uh, points, especially the size of the fragment is very important uh, when we are fixing these avulsion fragments. It has to be uh, 10 to 20 millimeters, the technique what I'm showing. If it is too comminuted, definitely you can't use it, probably you have to use uh, suture. Um, so there are very, very uh, different ways of managing, all of you know that this is a common uh, scenario where you fix the avulsion fragment with the screws. Uh, by open or arthroscopy assisted. So when is the best time? So definitely the time you have to select it. It should be preferably within two weeks, maximum three weeks. After that, it becomes a little difficult as the, 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 the ligament gets contracted. So why fix a bony avulsion? De definitely a bony to bone, bone to bone healing is always the best. And nothing like the native collagen. Whatever reconstruction you do, with the, any kind of a tendon you harvest it, it can be inferior to what native collagen which is there with the PCL. And certainly it prevents early arthritis, it stabilizes the knee and uh, many advantages. This is just a x-ray and you of course investigate with different uh, modalities like CT, MRI and other things. This is just to show you that a posterior medial portal is a must when we are uh, doing this or as that Sachin was showing, even posterior lateral also you can use it. So I'm not going to uh, go to the... Why tight rope mini? I, I, as all of you understand, the, the tight rope uh, routine one, what we have is a free loop. And uh, this is a, a loop which is attached to the button on one side. Another side, there is another button, round button. So it's a closed loop, literally. And this is a single tibial tunnel. And uh, it is definitely suitable for... PCL avulsion less than 2 cm, more than 2 cm, probably the button is too small. This actually is designed for uh, different conditions in uh, uh, orthopedics, like hallux valgus and uh, uh, even um, tibiofibular uh, uh, diastasis. So this is just a video to just to show you what exactly how I do it. This is just an avulsion to demonstrate. And as uh, I discussed, posterior medial portal is a must. You have to examine and prepare the bed. And uh, visualizing the fragment from posterior is very, very important. For that, you have to make a posterior medial portal. And uh, you make a portal with the help of a, a needle first, and then make a portal. You can put a cannula so that it becomes easy for the management later. So that's the portal. You are visualizing from the uh, anterior lateral portal between the PCL and the medial femoral condyle. In that, you go see the posterior medial uh, uh, pouch, I mean the gutter or whatever, and from there you make a, a portal. And the jig is inserted between the window, between what we call window 2, that is between ACL and PCL. You go the, you take the jig from there. So then you will have to visualize from the posterior medial portal and your instrumentation. And this is the uh, jig which is manipulating the fragment. You can appreciate the fragment there. I'm trying to reduce it. And just to make you understand how the tunnels are drilled, this is how you just protect the posterior guide wire with a, some kind of a, a protector. And this is the tight rope mini, what I was telling you. This is just a single uh, tibial tunnel. You put the button which is uh, closed with on both the sides and you remove this thread from the the introducer and you do to and fro motion make sure that the button is completely outside and then you take out the button which is mounted on that plastic handle and then suddenly there is a deploy of the button so you can observe that the button sits exactly on the fragment during this phase, you have to make sure the, the fragment doesn't move. The tunnels are in the same. And then you, 
you start tightening this. The same principle how we do the tight rope on the other side. So you tighten it and the button sits and creates a nice closed loop with a good compression and you can put some knots on that. The tunnel what we drill here is only 3.5 millimeters and there is a separate guide wire comes which is, which is uh, probably 1.8 mm, 1.5 or 1.8 mm, I'm not sure. So this is how the button sits. It gives a very good compression and that is the, that is the, uh, the, the button sitting on the tibial end and this is the implant which comes in set. So that is a button which is deployed and then make sure before you tighten somebody can give a good uh, anterior drawers thirst. So that again the interoperative view to show you the button sitting on that and you can appreciate the fragment which is getting reduced here. You can see that I'm trying to reduce with my probe and once I tighten the button it is held very nicely. So till you tighten it somebody can maintain the anterior dryers. Of course, for this, the selection of cases are very important. The fragment should be quite good enough to take that button. And then the post-op rehab is the same like you do for uh, PCL reconstruction or uh, PCL avulsion. That is the, the post-operative picture. Thank you. <laughs>